basically we've got a 14.8 uh, upper with mid gas and the conventional plate in the adjustable gas block and Robert's going to demonstrate it functions without the uh, suppressor attached in the unsuppressed mode. So we have 430 ejection. Uh, go ahead, clear that, and we'll put the first can on. So you can demonstrate it with the M4 2000. We'll demonstrate this thing firing uh, in the unsuppressed mode. So this is the normal user experience for this suppressor. Okay, see that second round ejected at like one o'clock? Go ahead and switch to suppressed. And you see a decent amount of smoke in the vicinity of the shooter's face. And now we've got 430 ejection with the M4 2000. So go ahead, clear that, and we'll switch to the Griffin can. So we're just gonna demonstrate for the sake of demonstration, a pair of cans with both these, the conventional and the unconventional plates. So we'll just leave it in the suppressed mode. Very soft. Nice. This is our second upper. We have the handguard removed so you can see the gas block. We're gonna demonstrate the low back pressure plates function. So this is just the normal mode, uh, unsuppressed. So you see 430 ejection and bright flash. So right now it's in the unsuppressed mode. We'll give you, we'll give you uh, four rounds then. So you can shoot uh, two normal and then we can switch. All right. So unsuppressed mode. So you got like three o'clock ejection, flip the position to suppressed. And then flip it 180 to suppressed and we'll switch cans to the RC3. So now we're gonna use the larger aperture. And the RC3 is lower back pressure than the Lazarus 6, but they're both in the low back pressure class. And this is demonstrating that the plate via two different settings on the different 180 degree sides uh, can, can accommodate them both. And so even the RC3 can benefit from a low back pressure plate because uh, it's still a suppressor and any suppressor adds a little pressure to the system. This is neat in that we were able to, we were able to run the uh, Dead Air uh, Lazarus 6 and our Optimus 6 on one side of the plate and we were able to run the Knight CRS PRT and the RC3 on this other side. Uh, so it demonstrates that a low back pressure plate can bridge many of the low back pressure cans on the market. And the conventional was able to run, you know, in our testing, Reggae 5K, uh, Dual Lock 5, the uh, uh, M4 2000 and stuff like that. And, and so it's like, we're hoping that these two plates uh, can work for a lot of people. Obviously for the end user that wants to do that, that drill your own plate, they could put, have one unsuppressed port on one side of the plate and three other settings and that could that could allow them and they could cherry pick those we're going to publish our list so they could pick those settings from uh our other plates so they could combine low back pressure and conventional performance in one plate with the drill your own right or like you're saying right, if you have your 55 59 and then your 96 you still have the your cake and eat it too if you leave it on one side you've got your suppressed unsuppressed but you have that middle if you really wanted to use it yeah Sure. Yeah. Nice to have. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, people can configure this however they uh, they want, and our our version of that is is just the unsuppressed suppressed, giving you two sides of the plate, and you could essentially paint mark. So if you're on that side with the two vertical hash marks, just put that vertical hash mark on, and if you have ten guns, you could also mark uh, L. So it could be hash mark L, puts you on that marked side of the plate so you know which side you're on and you know that that's a low back pressure one so if you put a conventional can say you've got our dual lock system 
you put a dual lock five on, on the gun, uh, you, you know that that just wouldn't be operating quite as optimally as, as our Optimus uh, 6. Thanks guys for sticking with us with that last part of the video, the demonstration. I want to thank Robert again yeah, for coming out yes, and for all of his help with the design of the product. And uh, I hope that uh, we're able to make the, the fans of the governor happy uh, into the future with uh, access to products.